What's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to try to make one of these vent make one of these vent plugs pressure release plug not really quite sure what you call it so this is the five foot brush hog uh, the house hauser or the house anyways five foot brush hog it came with this vented plug and basically what happens is the fluid that's inside here uh, whenever this gets hot it creates pressure well whenever it creates pressure it can blow out seals um, and then you leak all your fluid out and all that so not not very good um, but with this if there's any pressure that's built up it it basically is a blow off valve pressure release valve and it lets off the pressure without um, and still is, is able to seal the hole okay so I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. If you can see down inside there, there is a BB that's down inside that. Oh, ball bearing. And I'll show you kind of a, a quick drawing of, of what this is, but there's a BB that's down inside there. There is a vent hole that's right here. And whenever there's so much pressure that gets built up, it pushes the BB out of the way, and the pressure comes out this hole here. So, so on this one, you can see it's leaking a little bit up here. Um, I don't think it's leaking anywhere underneath. Uh, I don't. I don't show any any signs of it leaking. But I'm wondering if this, and it's not a real bad leak. So I'm wondering if this is just building up too much pressure, and it's kind of blowing, blowing fluid out the out the front there. So, um, and this just has a solid cap. Just has a solid cap. So we're going to try to kind of reverse engineer that one. See if we can make a vent cap. All right, hang on. All right, guys, so here we go. This is that plug, and I looked to see if I could find another plug that is solid like this, and I cannot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this out of aluminum. I have some aluminum stock. I'm going to have to bring it down quite a bit, but it's what I got for right now. So, uh... Otherwise, I just would have bought another one of these and tried it out just to see if I can make this work. All else fails, um, it's not that big a deal. All else fails, I put this back in and we're back at square one and go from there. So what we're going to try to do... We're going to drill a hole that goes all the way through. And then we'll drill a bigger hole. And we'll thread this part. Okay. So they will be like a little grub screw. This is going to be our end cap for this, this part right here. Does that make sense? Um, we'll have a spring. And that spring will go in here, and there will be a little BB right in there. And so, with this grub screw, we'll be able to pre-tension how much pressure it takes for this BB to move out of the way. That's my intent. So, we'll see if we can make that happen. Does it at least kind of make sense? That way whenever all this pressure comes through, it'll move this BB out of the way and then air can escape out. Oh, and we'll uh, we'll drill another little hole right here. We're gonna have to shave a bunch down. Uh, I'll see if I have another stock somewhere. I don't think I do.
if you look here, um, let's see, we want to do half inch. So outside diameter there needs to be 840. And that's what we got. So we can technically now thread this. But before we do, I think I want to cut this off. Clearance is clearance, right? <laughs> 